Good evening, guys. There's this YouTuber who's a, who I really like and who I really, whose videos I really, really enjoy watching. Um, this guy called Gold Jacket Luke. He's a, a guru of no fat. And one of his rec most recent videos, he talked about how he deals with urges. And one of the most important things he's learned is that when you go through suffering, whether it's depression, loneliness, or everything, you just have to bear bear with the urges and go through that stage now for me I'm not gonna sit here and say I've, I've had like a perfect streak since the start of the year I've, I've had a few relapses so <laughs> it's been very difficult and the reason why it's been difficult for me this year is because I've been dealing with the last what I think is the last stage of NoFap and that is coming to terms with suffering or things just not going your way because, just because, and it almost feels like it's unfair when you see the things you go through constantly, constantly battling, and there's no flow, and you just become tired emotionally. It makes you feel like, what was this point of starting this NoFap journey if, if it's not going to be a smooth ride all the way? So, when you first start off NoFap, you go through the excitement stage, it's what I call the excitement stage. It's like I don't know how long it lasts. It can be like from from the first few days to like a month. You're excited about all the new things are happening. People are smiling at you. You're becoming a social guru. You're becoming popular. You 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 like thinking fast. You like being witty and stuff. Um, and then you go through this other stage, which I call the cruising stage, where you start to accomplish even bigger goals that you never imagined you can accomplish. You get that new job. You get that promotion. You go on holiday invited for free you start getting these ridiculous superpowers that you never thought you can get now that one can last a few months to a couple of years and then you reach the the last stage which is what I'm at, I'm at now um, and that's the sort of the grinding the the challenges that's when you've gone through the the easy challenges in life with no fat and now it's come to the real the hard stuff, the stuff that can make you cry, the stuff that, um, the stuff that would mo make most men turn back and just say that you know I can't, I can't do it anymore. I've reached this stage and I think it's too much for me. <sighs> I've thought about this myself. I thought about quitting this whole no fat thing and just becoming a normal person again. Um, because sometimes it just feels. Uh, it feels endless, the challenges, whether it's you start to experience pain and suffering in the world, you start to actually understand it, you start to understand things that you can't control, you start to understand politics, work politics, you start to understand um, your limitations in terms of things that you're always going to keep coming up against and it can be overwhelming and I think the, the really what Gold Jacket Luke said about bearing with the suffering, I think is the most important step point at this stage because to break through to this stage, I believe deep in my heart that when you break through this stage of the suffering, then life isn't gonna give you even more suffering. Life's gonna give you a massive reward. I, I believe that. Um, just like life rewards you when you first start NoFap, you get all these things, the universe just matches you with amazing things. It's kind of preparing you to give you good things and then a bit of a challenge, good things, a bit of a challenge, good things, a bit of a challenge. And then you don't get any good things anymore necessarily like you expected. You go through a long period of grinding, a long period of challenges. And then all of a sudden, boom, you just break up into the break out into this um amazing accomplishments you would discover this when 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 you discover for the first time that having a long streak isn't necessarily going to help you achieve a certain goal I remember last uh, two years ago when I thought I need to find a new job uh, whatever I used to do whenever I tried something challenging I always used to just do a long streak 50 days plus I did a 50 day plus long streak, I still couldn't get a job that I wanted. Um, 
and that was demoralizing to me that if even NoFap doesn't work then I'm screwed and that's when it started that's the first time I really started to understand the concept of bearing with the suffering and taking a step back and relaxing having time to relax and take a break and that's when I started implementing rest weeks and hobbies but the overall theme is that when you reach this last stage this is when I think in my opinion this is I think when YouTubers tend to get off YouTube who are nofap and just um, don't really want to do any, have anything to do with it because they're just tired of having to fight constantly to this last stage and I don't know what's going to happen at the end of this um, at the end of this um, tunnel but I can tell you right now I haven't been since 2018 I haven't been maybe since since June July I haven't been more than I haven't gone longer than 80 days or 90 days in a streak so I've, I've decided to do one thing that's helped me and I think it's going to help me tremendously and help people like you go instead of trying to achieve everything in life trying to be the best just focus on trying to achieve that long streak and accept if you get a blockage in your flow in life accept it as mediocrity just accept mediocrity because I believe that it's it's almost like a like a false lie that's gonna it's almost like um, something that's temporarily false and then afterwards when you've gone through that long streak and that long period of just pain it's almost like a flat line you go through that period of pain and then you get the reward afterwards sometimes I think life at this stage is giving you that period of pain so that you can be rewarded afterwards so accept mediocrity just don't don't feel that you're being less than you're meant to be because you accept the mediocrity because I think life is actually telling you that you're gonna to have to accept that you're not perfect at this stage so accept that mediocrity for that little while however long it's gonna be and then after the streak is over that pain of that streak is over those challenges over you've reached the, another level things that you never even imagined things that will just blow your mind so I'm gonna do that I'm doing that personally for you guys and for myself as well I wanna go I wanna get a 90 day streak again um, of no PMO I don't mind M or having a real life encounter um, with a real person every like month or so because I think that's more natural but no PMO so yeah I think I think that's something that you should um, if you're one of these people who's at the last stage just try and embrace the mediocrity of that stage where you just feel shitty and you just feel less than everyone else but know that life is going to make it up for you, make it, make up for it. All this pain you went through, life's going to make up for it at the end. And you're just going to look back and think, wow, if I hadn't gone through that, I wouldn't be rewarded all this. Just like a flatline. Peace.